Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to replace your PSP's joystick. So the joystick on this PSP 1000 is actually kind of faulty. It gets stuck and it just doesn't move very well. So I've got a new one to replace it. You can just get them off eBay or Amazon. They're really cheap. They're only about two pounds. So I've got one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be replacing it with this one um, in this video. first thing you want to do is just remove the small screw that's at the bottom of your PSP and you will need a Phillips head screwdriver to do this. Once you've done that just remove the back cover and then you will need to remove the battery. There are four very small screws on the back here, so you need to remove each one and make sure you remember where they will go. So just put them in like a small pot so you don't lose them. So once all those screws are removed, there are two screws um, on the back of your PSP. You will need to remove them as well. So once you have removed all of the seven screws, what you need to do is take your PSP's front screen off. So, so it should just come off fairly easily just by pulling it. So once you've taken the plastic screen off, you'll need to remove the joystick itself. So there are two screws which hold it into the plastic screen. You just want to take those out, then you can pull the joy pull out. You will need to remove the actual pad part itself, it literally just clips into the plastic. So here is the faulty joypad and here is the new one. Um, as you can see you can swap out the um, top pads part really easily, they just clip on and off. Right, so now I'm just going to put the new joystick back in. So all you want to do is just place it in first. Then you just want to screw it in with the two screws. Now you can just go ahead and clip the pad piece back on top. Test it out by moving it around and it should be working really well. So now you can go ahead and reassemble your PSP. This bit is fairly easy, so I won't be talking through this. But just clip the screen on as normal, and then you'll just need to put these seven screws and the battery back in. Right guys, so once your PSP is back together, you can test out the joypad to make sure it's working fine. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.